Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Halid, I'm a web developer. In this my very first video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple and clean landing page UI design for a sports shoes e-commerce website. For this tutorial, I'm using Figma, a web-based application for prototyping and design. You can check that later. So for now, let's take a look at our project. And here we are, the landing page we're gonna build. There are so many elements we're gonna working on, starting from the upper part. There is the header section with its brand logo, navigation, and so on, and then the hero section, and also the feature product section, and then story section, and of course the sitemap, and the last but not least, the footer section. So, are you ready for this? Let's begin. Alright guys, here we go. Before we start, I want to tell you that our main goal in making a landing page is to invite people who visit our website to do things that we offer, such as buying our product, providing us some user information, or subscribing to newsletter. Therefore, it is important for us to design a landing page that matches with our target market. In our case, our target market is uh, young and adult people who love running and have simple, modern, and straightforward taste in mind. And to ensure the content on the screen is not obstructed by my face, I will turn off the camera starting from here. And now as you can see it is empty in here, we need some kind of blank canvas that we can use to put the elements to build the landing page. So let's get the frame tools right here. Click the frame, click and drag anywhere you want and let's set the properties on the right panel. We will go with the most commonly used white screen resolution which is the 1366 by 768 uh, pixel. Let's zoom to fit and let's name it landing page. And also we need some kind of color that can help us in layouting the elements inside the frame. So uh, let's click the frame again and if you go over here we'll see the layout grid tools. Click the grid icon, change the grid to columns and let's make the count to 12. We want to ensure that we have the same number of columns with the bootstrap column system. Uh, since we are going to build this landing page in the bootstrap later maybe and let's set the margin to 60 margin is the uh, gap between the edge of the frame and the columns and yeah, we should keep in mind to not put any elements on this area and for the gutter, gutter is the small gap between the columns uh, for, for example if we set it to 10 you can see that there's a uh, gap become smaller and if we set to 50 it will become too wide so let's set uh, to the default 20 good now as we have finished the frame and layout grid we are ready to build the landing page start from the most upper part which is the header section the header section will be consists of header bar and elements inside such as brand logo navigation and other icons so we're going to start uh, by building the header bar. Uh, let's click the rectangle tool here. Click and drag like this. Set the height to 80 pixel. And let's change the color to white. As we can see, the, uh, the bar will become invisible. So we need a stroke uh, as our reference when we uh, put the elements inside. So we can see the border. And let's name it header bar okay good and let's grab the uh, elements for the header bar I have them already in this page for the brand logo uh, it consists of the uh, running icon and the text runner station you can get the icon from the flat icon.com and just search the keywords running and for the other icons uh, you can get it uh, from the iconify.design the search icon, the shopping bag, and the login or avatar. So let's bring them all to our landing page. Uh, put them here. The icons goes here. And the logo goes here. We will deal with the logo first. Let's... Uh, adjust the logo to the left until we see the red line good now let's set the, dis the distance from the bottom border below just click the brand logo and while you hold the alt button just hover the border and you can see the number 
let's put it high, a little higher 21 is good now we, uh, we're done with the logo let's move on to the icons uh, we need some kind of the search box over here we can use the rectang rectangle tool click and drag and set the height to 40 okay good the width will be 180 and uh, i want to give the corner uh, a more rounded shape uh, we can use the tools here corner radius just click and drag until you have the corner you want or, or we can uh, give it manually but uh, for me i will go with 25 good now let's set the color to a light gray and don't forget to name it i will go with search box and put it under the search icon on the layer panel and let's adjust the box and the icon like this and let's give it the press holder text uh, search good now let's set the font size the mid uh, the width will be, uh, be medium good the size is too big let's make it 14 and let's test the color uh, we can go with dark gray like this Okay, now uh, we're gonna align it with the other elements. Click them all, the source icon, source box, and source plus holder text, and click the vertical center. And let's grouping them together by Control G. Uh, let's name it search bar and align them with the other icons. Click them all and click again the vertical center as always and let's set the horizontal spacing. Uh, you can set manually here. I will go with 30 pixel and let's put them to the right like this until we see the red line. Okay. And don't forget to set the distance from the below. Uh, 120. I will go with 14. Now for the last part, uh, we're gonna create the navigation. Just click the text tool here, click and drag to create the text box, and let's put the first categories, the first navigation item, the hot items or, or hot products, you name it, and check the properties. Fourteen size is good. Uh, the width medium, uh, maybe we can make it bold. The font type Montserrat, good. Now let's give it a more uh, a bit little spacing maybe about 10 percent and line within the box to the center and let's make the box uh, more concise okay good now let's control d to duplicate it control d control d again and let's change the properties change the font weight to medium and let's make the second one for main cut main categories and the third one will be women okay okay adjust it and let's collide it together click the vertical center and set the distance from these tools uh, I will set it to 72 good now let's grouping them all together control G and name it navigation navigation and let's set the distance from the below 23 no uh, I will make it 27 good now let's align them on the center within the frame by click here just click the horizontal center okay good now let's get rid of this uh, uh, bar stroke click the minus icon and zoom to fit and uh, let's
let's hide the layout grid so we can see, see the final result okay well done guys and before we, we move on to the next section let's just not forget to always grouping the elements uh, so uh, it will not be scattered uh, as we build the other section okay so just click them all like this Control G and let's name the group as header okay good uh, now guys I, I want to tell you something uh, the next part is the most important part on our landing page in principle the hero section uh, or CTA section uh, is the part on the landing page that is first seen by visitors when they enter our website so our first interaction with visitors is in this section then it is very important to give a positive first impression to them so that they are interested and comfortable to linger on our website okay now for our hero section with a background you can use the rectangle tool here click the rectangle click and break like this uh, just make sure to not overlap with the hero section click and drag until you get the base height the height will be 688 pixel now let's change the color a bit lighter because we want to put elements inside and uh, let's name it background okay now uh, let's put it under the header and let's uh, put the layout grid because we want to put many elements inside our background that we don't want the elements to hit each other so we need the grid okay now with the uh, product image uh, i have them already as always so this is a nike arizona pegasus 37 image i get it from the nike.com with their permission of course so it is safe for us to use this image on our landing page let's just bring it copy paste okay and let's resize it mm, okay I will, I will make it to 40 pixel and let's put it on the grid uh, I want to have uh, a bit white space over here so let's uh, put it on the second column like this and let, let's check the red line uh, we want to make it in the middle of our background cool now uh, let's uh, put the product caption over here um, Let's just use the text tool. Text tool. Uh, check the properties. Montserrat. Uh, medium. Cool. Font size 48. Cool. Uh, per spacing. Let's make it the same with the size. Now let's uh, put the name. Nike Air Zoom. Pegasus 37. Okay. Hmm. I want to change the weight. Let's uh, make it bold. Cool. The second one, medium. Cool. Now let's adjust the text box. Okay. Let's align it. Okay. Uh, let's give it the white space over here. Now let's uh, put the eye catching line under the product's name. Copy paste, put here, and let's change the properties. The font size will be 20, the product of spacing will be 26, and uh, the font weight will be like. Okay, just it zoom in so we can see the, the line and 
let's make the eye catching line the way it is offer a beautiful plan of design and technology in every step of your running cool now let's set the distance from the top mm, for 16 14 15 cool now let's align them together oh don't forget to always grouping control g and test the name product caption and let's align them click the caption and product image and use the vertical center hopla good uh, okay we're done with this now let's move on to the product specification and zoom to fit okay now we need a specification bar over here let's use the rectangle rectangle tool click and drag like this set the height to 50 and the width will be okay just within this area so we want to lift this area as the white space remember and let's adjust the corner radius to 15 we want to make it more round and let's change the color to white and I want to give it a more transparency by give it 80% opacity because uh, we want to put e graphic and color gradient behind the uh, behind the bar so let's make, let's make sure the bar doesn't block it now uh, let's put the product specification click the text tool here click and drag over here oops I will lost the text box once again okay like this and just let's name it brain Nike for the first specification okay and we use we use the Barlow as the font type here because Barlow is more compact uh, compared to the Montserrat and let's change the wave condense good now the brand one will be the condensed bolt the font size will be 18 the, the spacing will be 10 percent okay nice now let's uh, adjust the box and let's put the another one control d this one will be longer change change it to model and this one will be air zoom Pegasus 37 what a cool name now let's make the another one this one will be color specification obsidian miss as mentioned uh, on the official website okay now for the last one will be the price price okay uh, 120 dollar good let's adjust it and let's uh, get them together and let's set the vertical center alignment and just the, just the distance and let's see the distance is 49 I want to make it uh, 62 okay good now move it a bit more to the left like this okay now uh, we need uh, a button right here 
to give uh, the visitor a link to buy the product or to export the details of the product so let's use the rectangle here click and drag set set the properties 40 pixel for the height and the width will be 165 good now uh, let's change the color radius to 15 again and the color will be uh, black good now let's adjust it and let's put the caption inside the button okay text tool and this one will be okay sorry i forgot to change the color change to white okay let's uh, put it as shop now shop now but we want to use the monster font type and change it to medium and the letter spacing 10% good now let's just align it inside the button click the shop now caption and the button okay let's name it button don't forget always rename your player your element okay uh, get all of them and click again the vertical center and the horizontal center now let's grouping them let's name it button again or for more specific cta button and we want to adjust the button with the specification over here so uh, let's grouping the specification first okay uh, control G let's name it product specs hey I almost forgot let's name it the bar as specs bar okay product specs and the button let's uh, let's set the distance okay I will go with 62 62 and I want to line it within the bar maybe a bit more right more to the right okay perfect now let's uh, put all of them all together the specification number and the CTI button okay control G let's name it uh, product specs and CTA now let's adjust the distance from the product image alt the uh, hold the alt button and you can see the number 55 let's make it 70 cool okay let's zoom to fit and we want to align them uh, on the background so let's grouping them together this one this one and this one Control G and let's name it uh, CTA content now let's uh, align them uh, on the background okay click the background and this one this group and click again the vertical center okay great now let's uh, hide the layout grid to see the final result okay that's it now we are ready to change the background put some image and put the gradient color okay and just one more thing guys i think the button caption is too big let's just add it to 16 pixel good now let's uh, adjust the layer okay now we're good and let's deal with our background I'm gonna show you that with a simple gradient our background will look better so let's click the background and click the fill tools change the select to radial and here we go we have uh, two point in here that we can move around 
and this one will be the dark uh, color and this one will be the light color we can slide them until we have the gradient range we want so now let's put the end point on the left on the edge of the frame and this one on the product image like this good let's move the panel now let's change the color this one will be uh, i have the x code e5 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 and let's change the opacity to 100 percent and this one will be a5 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 good now let's light the light color until we have the gradient we want i think i will have here good okay see with just a two a gradient color we have added a dimension or depth to our background okay now for uh, the second part let's grab our uh, graphic that we do, we want to put on our background here's the ribbon graphic that i made with the figma that but i'm not gonna show you here how to make it because it will take a longer time uh, of our tutorial so let's just put it uh, on our background okay copy paste put here and let's resize it set the height uh, the same with the background 688 okay let's set it 688 oops sorry lock the ratio 688 good now let's put the layer under the city content and let's position it until we have the good position i think i will have it here okay 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 good yeah let's uh, grouping them city content ribbon and uh, background control g and let's name it hero section and let's name the header header section okay okay now i forgot to set uh, our font color to be a, a bit lighter of the black because this is uh, this is the pure black i want it more bright i have the color right here this one okay the hex code let's save it now this one too okay and of course our header good now for the uh, product specs okay change the fill color okay now let's uh, hide the group okay we're done with the hero section well done guys now we can move on to the next section